Hey. 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 Hey, I'm John Batista, and this is my video on how to do cyanotypes. If you don't know what cyanotypes are, they're these cool blue prints that you can make from film negatives. So cyanotypes are really easy to make, and you can make a lot of them really fast, and they're pretty cool. So to make cyanotypes, there's different things that you'll need. First, you'll need cyanotype powder, watercolor paper, a foam brush, some sort of dropper, a towel, some sort of dish, a picture frame, and a negative. So I use Jaquard, Jaquard cyanotype mixture. And it comes in a part A and a part B. Um, you have to put water into them and then mix equal parts in order to make a proper solution. Next, I used, I don't even know, the Canson Extra Large Watercolor Paper. You pr can pretty much use any type of watercolor paper, although in some other videos on YouTube, um, they figured out specific types of watercolor paper that don't work. So, I recommend Canson. It works well, and they're very large pages, so you can make a lot. Next thing you'll need is a foam brush. I stole this one from my father's workbench. Well, not stole, he more, you know, properly gave it to me because I needed one, but I like to say stole. <laughs> Next thing you'll need is a dropper to get the part A and part B solutions together into some sort of cup or something or a dish. Um, I use the Major Liquid Tears bottle because I don't have any droppers at home. So I use this. It works. <laughs> Like I said, you need some sort of dish to put the mixtures in. I use a Tupperware. Um, it's, it works, it's nice and small. The brush can get the mixture. Um, and you can wash it easily, because I've never washed this. <laughs> now, in case you spill any of the mixture or get any off the paper or accidentally spray it, I don't know, I don't know what you'll do with it. Um, use a towel. I lay a towel down before I make my cyanotypes and it helps because then you're not getting a bunch of the mixture everywhere. Next you'll need a picture frame. Well, you don't really need the picture frame but I use a picture frame because it can easily hold the paper and the negative close together because if there's a lot of space um, parts of the print will get out of focus and it just makes it nicer. Next, you'll need a negative of some sort. So, you can have a regular negative. This is a 120 film negative. I don't even, I bought it off of eBay because I can't get film developed right now because of coronavirus. Um, some, it's from like the 40s or something, I don't know. It's a cool picture of an orchard. Or, what you can also do is you can get transparent paper to make negatives out of your own pictures. So, I have a horse statue from my school that I made that I put onto film paper and the film paper I use is the again Jaquard ja Jaquard the Jaquard solar fast film paper this is an eight pack they only come in eight packs except I recently found cheaper options um, on crap what's that website called on the BH photovideo.com website they that they sell a bunch of they sell a lot of film they sell a lot of cameras they sell drones they cover everything um they also sell transparent paper that comes in 20 packs and it's a lot cheaper than this and i'm gonna be making that transition towards that and you should too all right so now i'll take you through the steps first you need to mix your part a and part b powder with water Take your dropper and take equal parts and mix them together into the dish. Then, cut your watercolor paper to the desired size that you want for your print. 
Then, coat your watercolor paper with the mixture using the foam brush. You can do whatever style you want. You can cover the full paper, or you can just do parts of the paper. When you're putting the mixture onto the watercolor paper, make sure you're not in direct sunlight because then the mixture will start getting exposed and it'll just become darker and then it'll just look weird. So, make sure you're in a darker area and don't have any sunlight coming in. And then, pick out a negative. So there's a crucial difference between the film negative and the film paper. So the film negative has the emulsion layer on the back, which blocks out some of the UV light while the paper does not. So you would have to do a longer exposure for a film negative rather than film paper. Then, once you've picked out a negative, place the negative in the picture frame with the coated watercolor paper on top. Once you place it in direct sunlight, make sure to set a timer on a phone or if you have an actual timer. <laughs> once the timer is done, take it out of direct sunlight and wash it underwater. You can wash it in a sink or you can get another bigger tray cold water in it and wash the paper in the tray. You'll have to wash the yellow parts off of the watercolor paper. That's the unexposed parts of the mixture. Once that's all clear, let it dry. I personally set mine back on my towel and let it dry there. And once it's dry, there you go. You have a cyanotype print. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. You don't have to. It's your choice. But if you want to help me, that'd be very great. Now go make some more cyanotypes and take more pictures. Thank you for watching.